How many discs do you really need to play a casual round of disc golf? Which ones are right for your game? And with all the options available, which ones do you choose? I'm Avery Jenkins, a touring professional disc golfer and 2009 world champion. I've been a disc golf instructor for over a decade and I really enjoy teaching people how to improve their games. I'm here to help you put together a bag that offers all the shots you'll need to lower your scores. Whether it's going out there to beat your friends or shooting your best round in your weekly league. I'm going to break down all the types of discs you'll need and help you put together a complete bag. As you may already know, you can categorize any disc as one of three main types. A putter, a mid-range, and a driver. A complete bag has all three. In this two-part series, I'm going to show you how to properly select each type for your arsenal. The putter is the foundation of a balanced bag. Putting is the most crucial part of the game, and being an effective putter lowers your scores. It can make the difference between a solid round and a course record. The rounded edge design creates consistent, slow flight. They're ideal for catching the chains on impact and falling into the basket. Putt and approach discs come in a variety of models and plastics to accommodate each player's putting style and grip preference. In order to sort through the large variety of putters, we use three key guidelines. Comfortable shape, consistent grip, and a trustworthy flight pattern. With that being said, let me introduce you to the putter that has won more tournaments, more world championships, and more friendly wagers than anything out there, the AVR. Over the past 12 years, every time I've lined up a putt, it's been an AVR in my hand, including the biggest putt of my career on the world's biggest stage on the fifth hole of Sudden Death Playoff during the 2009 World Championships. Yeah! This is my putter, the KC Pro AVR. The rounded edge I've found to be the most comfortable and the stiff rigid pro line plastic is what I prefer. The bead on the bottom of the disc has a good comfortable fit in my hand and it also creates a good predictable overstable flight. Now if you're coming up short of the basket, it's time to step into a speed three putting approach. The dart, with the same aerodynamic design as the AVR, gives you added range while still offering the same straight consistent flight. Now if you find a domey, one just like this, you'll glide effortlessly, giving you added distance. These discs are offered in almost every plastic the Innova makes. So once you've found a putter you like and a plastic that you love, carry at least two. That way you have one for approach and one for putting. Rotating between the two discs will reduce the wear and tear while also ensure a longer lifespan of the disc. Mid-range discs are like irons used in traditional golf. Where Tiger Woods reaches for his five or six iron, I reach for my mid-range. They give me more distance with the same effort as a putter, while giving me more speed control as compared to a driver. The biggest advantage in being proficient with the mid-ranges is their utility in shaping different lines of the basket. Mid-ranges are lower profile and more aerodynamic than putters, generating more distance while still remaining easy to throw. Their large diameter and slightly rounded wing shape produce pinpoint accuracy, especially when we need the disc to settle close to the basket. A complete bag has mid-range discs that go left, go straight, and go right, covering all types of shots. Some players choose to carry multiple versions of the same disc in different stages of wear, while others choose to carry several molds to achieve a variety of flight patterns. Sometimes you only need one disc to execute many types of shots. And I'll tell you right now, the Mako is that disc. 
Doesn't get any easier. Just pick your angle, point, and shoot. And the beautiful thing about this disc, that it holds release angle the entire flight, and it's easy to throw a touch. Just like the putters, rounded edge, domey, you won't sacrifice distance when you gain all that accuracy. Now if I was to recommend one disc to play a tire around with, I'd recommend the Mako. So when you're ready to step up to the top of the food chain, the Rock is a disc for you. The newer players can rely on the consistent finish. The players that developed a more powerful throw will appreciate the Rock's immense versatility. And because of that, the Rock is the only mid-range in my bag. It has great control and accuracy, which makes it a great choice for longer approaches and medium length drives off the tee. There are many, many variations of rocks produced in a variety of different plastics, but with a little research, you'll find the one that flies the best for you. Now here's a little inside tip. If the bead on the bottom of the rock is uncomfortable for you, or you're struggling to get to fly straight, try the Shark. The Shark flies very similar flight lines to the rock, but it might be slightly easier to throw. And with no bead on the bottom, it may be more comfortable in your hand and offer cleaner release. Now that you know a little bit more about the putters and mid-ranges needed for your bag, the only thing left to do is try them out. The key to shooting good scores is develop consistency around the basket and then work your way out. First off, find a putter and mid-range that you're comfortable with and then work on a consistent technique. Be sure to check out our next Billy in the Bag video on drivers. We're going to talk to you about proper disc selection and how to drop those big bombs on the fairway. Until next time, I'm Avery Jenkins and get out there and play some disc golf.